The truth is, labels are feeling the pressure from new technology and are struggling to survive in this ever-changing market. The internet has given consumers and artists an unprecedented amount of choice. People can buy and stream music online at any time of day. The artists can now use social media to build up a fan base and share their music without the help of a label and it isn't unheard of for independent artists to sell out event spaces for their own launches. To put it simply, even in 2022, record labels are the best way to get an artist's music heard by a large audience. They are experts in the field of marketing and promotion, and they have been doing it for years. They also offer financial and legal support to their artists, which is essential in the music industry. As record labels are always on the lookout for new and exciting artists, if they find someone promising then they are more than willing to invest in them. Record label deals often come with an advance which can help the artist to cover some or all of these costs. Of course, you owe them this money, so once your music starts selling it you begin to break even or make them a profit through sales and streams of your music, the advance is then considered recouped. In this way, record labels are often seen as a necessary evil by artists, they are needed to get your music out there but it's not always a fair or equal partnership. Labels are less important than they used to be. YouTube, Amazon Music, Spotify, Pandora, Apple Music, Tidal and a dozen other services have all but killed the physical album. With people being able to listen to anything, anywhere at any time, they are no longer buying albums like they used to. In 2002, Tower Records filed for bankruptcy due to competition from digital downloads on the internet. CD sales plummeted by 50% between 2000 and 2009. They eventually reopened as a digital store. Another thing is, while albums, EPs and LPs still get released, the consumer doesn't need to care. They hear a song, they shazam it, they stream it. There are no barriers to entry, and that's a good thing for everyone but traditional record labels. For a smart, business-savvy artist, this is a good thing. You have access to high-quality studios at affordable prices, music producers are ready to collaborate as mutually beneficial creative partnerships are in style, and there are more ways to get your music heard than ever before. In conclusion, are record labels dying? No, they are not, but they are changing, as is the musical ecosystem and food chain.